Hey everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio and today we are going to talk about feature flags. We will see why we need feature flags inside our mobile application development and how we can uh, use feature flag inside our React Native mobile application. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button now. And let's get started. So before moving forward, let's try to understand what are feature flags. In simple language, feature flags give you an ability to hide your incomplete features behind this feature flags so you can uh, deploy your completed feature to the productions. So this is the basic idea behind the feature flags. So let's try to understand how we can do that inside a React Native mobile application code and uh, later on we will discuss other benefits of using feature flags. So I'm going to use this uh, smog drill application from my previous video. Here uh, you can see I have a login. So this is incomplete login functionality. So I will hide this uh, login functionality or login feature behind a feature flag. How we can do that? Let's see. I have already created a you know utils folder inside that I have a config.js file. So here I will create my first uh, feature flag. So let's say feature flag ff then we need to create an object where first item will be UAT. So UAT is our development environment. Uh, so here I'm going to add the uh, checked and uh, mm, our feature login. So this is our login feature and I'm going to set is true because we want a uh, login uh, feature in our uh, development environment. And then uh, we need to create one more staging. So it's a kind of uh, sometimes a developer need this for a pre-production environment. So I'm going to use staging and then login for staging. A uh, login will be a false. We don't want uh, log login functionality inside our staging. And same with the production. And uh, here I'm going to add a login. And again, it will be a false. It will be hidden and here we need to pass uh, our environment so our environment is uat as you can see uat and if you're using a ci cd then uh, you can manage this environment from a uh, you know environment variable from the your ci cd tool and i'm going to pass here default value so default will be a production so if there's there will be no any environment then it will pick production one so this is how we can uh, add our feature flag. So let's export it. Okay. And then our feature flag is ready. So for UAT, for development environment, login functionality will be visible. Otherwise, for staging and production, it will be not visible. And uh, now in login screen, I'm going to hide this uh, login button behind the feature flag. So first of all, I need to import that feature flag from uh, utils, then config. And here I'm going to import that feature flag. And now I'm going to hide this button behind the feature flag. So ff.login and so now you can see so now you can see our feature or you can say our login button is hidden behind the feature flag. I'm going to change this config to staging now. You can see login button is hidden behind the feature flag. Okay. So if I will set true. So now I have uh, opened this uh, login feature for staging as well. So you can see in staging, it will be visible. I'm going to hide, I'm going to call this environment production now. So in production, it will be hidden again. So I'm going to make it visible for production as well. So it's production. So now suppose you have uh, done with the, all the environment UAT staging and production. So now your uh, login feature is ready and you want to push this login feature to the production. So now you will start working on a sign up feature. So if you are in development, it will be true, but uh, in case of staging and uh, 
production it will be false so i'm going to set it false so now here we will create one more button so let's say i'm going to copy this button login button and uh, let's say sign up and then sign up button sign up sign up click copy and uh, i'm going to create this click i'm going to sh show a simple alert here with sign up message okay let's see so uh, it's not visible because now let's set our environment to uat here so you can see in uat sign up is uh, done sign up is visible but when we will change our environment to uh, staging then it won't visible same with the production so if we will move to uat then sign up now suppose you have to uh, do a change in login uh, feature then what you will do you will uh, do you will make your changes like login uh, button so now i have changed this login button now i can uh, do production push with this because our uh, st sign up is still hide behind the feature flag so this is not uh, available for staging and production this is only available for uat so we can uh, do a production push and so our sign up incomplete feature is not uh, visible for end users so that's the uh, idea behind the feature flag so if you are following ci cd then in that case uh, um, we use a trunk based uh, development where we have only a master branch and uh, suppose if we have a three or four developers who are working on a, a different features and uh, one of uh, one of them wants to do a production with his feature uh, feature because he has completed that his feature so other developer can hide uh, their features behind the feature flag and developer who has already completed the feature can uh, you know do production push with their completed features so this is the benefits of using feature flag so that's all uh, for this video Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like to this video.